Good afternoon. Uh, welcome. Uh, as ever, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models, as it says there. Ignore the war hamster bit. It's not war hamster day today. Uh, it is purely Gross Models modelling stream. Uh, and as you probably noticed on the little uh, introduction menu thing, it's a Lego day. Uh, now, I had run out of Lego, but Paul, a uh, fellow Team Inept member and glued to the sprue, uh, very kindly sent me two different Lego kits. Uh, one of which I will be at least starting today, probably finishing, but you know, you can never really tell with Lego as to how long it's going to take to build and things like that. So we'll see how it goes. Um, <laughs> Lewis is in the chat, he says he's only got 20 minutes left for his break, so he'll try and be good, but he's not promising anything. He might not get banned in the next 20 minutes, we'll have to wait and see. Um, yes, so before I get to the Lego, uh, let's have a look through the chat. Actually, no, I'll do the Lego bit first. Because there are two kits. Um, I'm going to let you decide which one of these two I shall be doing today, or at least starting today. Uh, they're not wildly different to each other. Um, the, the first one is Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder uh, from the Star Wars, uh, which contains uh, Luke, 3PO, and a Jawa. Uh, that's that. It looks like it's got a little cave thing off to the side as well, but the, the Land Speedery thing. Um, so that, that's the first one to choose. The second one is, again, from the Star Wars. Uh, it is Anakin's Pod Racer, the 20th anniversary edition of the Pod Racer. Um, it's uh, obviously from last year, 2019. Uh, Lego, it's Lego Star Wars' 20th anniversary. They started doing Lego kits in 1999. Uh, so it comes with quite a cool um, Luke pilot uh, lightsaber -y thing um, on a little plaque which you can see if the angle is not wrong. Uh, it's a collectible minifigure from 1999. Uh, and also obviously comes with Padme and Anakin. Uh, so we have the two to decide between. Um, now the way I'm going to do it, instead of you just shouting out words and names and stuff, which you might already be doing, um, I, I need you to put in the number of what you want me to do. So if you want me to do the land speeder, put in 75271. If you want me to do the pod racer, put in 75258. I'll have a quick look through and see which numbers you get most of. Um, and while, while you're doing that, let me move that so you can see both quite clearly. Um, if you put in the wrong number, then I won't do it. But, you know. <laughs> uh, right, in the chat, we have Pascal. Uh, but nobody was there. I was there first. Um, you know, like half hour ago, and it seemed like nobody was around. But Pascal was obviously been around and... You know, lurking quietly. Uh, so he was there. Uh, then Raging Bases came in. Then Jamie came in. Uh, then uh, who was next after that? Nat is about. Uh, then Lewis as model making trucker comes in as well. Uh, and Andy's around as well. Nat, Jamie, Jamie, Andy, Raging Bases, Fuzzy Warrior, welcome. Uh, what kit's that, Lewis? Says Jamie. What uh, did he put? Oh, Baby Shark, he said. No, that's that's completely different. That's the song that you're going to be singing um, on next Thursday. But, yeah. Uh, so we have uh, 271, 58, 58, 71. So two of each. Uh, then a 58. Then a 76495. I don't know what that is, so I'll ignore that. But, he, you know, that's probably the Baby Shark number. Uh, 58, 21. I don't know what... Two two one three two one. I I have to look at these up later. They're probably real kits, but they're, they're not ones that I've got. Uh, so let's see. We've got uh, one, two of each. Five eight. Five eight is winning. Five eight is winning. I shall close it out in in another ten seconds. Uh, so if you want to vote for anything at all, you've got about five or ten seconds to do it. It's looking like five eight. Looking like pod racer time. Not, not not the land speeder. Nobody like the land speeder. I prefer the land speeder myself. But you know, I'm, I'm I'll, I'll do that next time. It's not you know the end of the world. It's not exactly never going to get built. Space station says Pascal. No, the ISS is the mini Lego thing, uh, the nano thing that I will be doing next time. I, I'll do a Lego, then a nano, then a Lego, then a nano, and we'll work around like that. Lewis Lewis votes land speeder, but it's a good number. I, I, it doesn't really. So yep, yeah, looking at that. Uh, there is another late vote for 7-1, but 5-8 is one. Jamie, you already voted. Did he vote already? Did he vote twice? He did he vote twice. So, let's see how many we've got. Unique votes. We have two of each. 5-8, 5-8, 5-8, and the 7-1 that doesn't count anyway. So, it's 5-8 is one. Too late. I know, but land speeder. What number is it, says Lewis? Oh, because Lewis is probably... 
No, he's not driving because he's typing. But anyway, this is the kit that I shall be building today. Or at least starting on today. It's not a massive kit. It's not a huge number of parts. So I expect it's probably going to be completed in the next hour, hour and a half type thing. Oh, it looks like uh, there are five to collect in this series of um, 20 anniversary things. Uh, there's a Han Solo one, a Vader, Carizian, and Princess Leia. That's interesting. I mean, this is obviously the best one. Luke's the best, you know. But, um, yeah, I wonder what kits they're in. I'll have to Google them at some point. I would expect that's... I can't, it's going to be this size of kit, so it's not going to be Falcon or anything like that. It's going to be... I mean, this isn't anything to do with Luke. So, I don't know. Anyway, progressing onwards, we have the box open. Um, it looks like it's obviously got clear bits to stand up on there, or apparently you can bend that round and hold it and obviously fly it around your room. But yeah, we won't do that. Right, let's have a look. What have we got? Apart from the bit of box that I just peeled off. Oh, look, bits. Bendy bits that aren't in bags. That's the empty box. I'll put that down there because somebody will come in later and say, what are, you, what are you building? I don't know, I wasn't here at the beginning. What are you building? Uh, right, we have some stickers. All good. Let's move the bendy pipes out of the way. Indeed, put the stickers out of the way as well. I'll put those in the back over with my paint. We have a box which has a scanny code thing. Let me use the scanny code thing. I've got the Lego app uh, somewhere. I have got it. It's called Lego Life. There it is. Uh, let's add a code to that. If we do the scanny thing, it gives you the instructions plus, which are the instructions for building it with added pictures. Oh, I'll be a bit lower than that. There we go. So it shows you how to build it with really cool animated... Um, Break open bag number one, it says, and then you need that, that, and that, and make it look like that. But you can actually scan it all around. It's all, you know, 3D pictures, which is very cool. It's worth getting the app for that. And then next bit is that, and you put that in there, like that. That's a much cooler way of doing it than using the, the book, but I'll use the book. So... Bag number one, as it said. Two and three, I shall put aside. Let's open it up and see. Uh, Andy McLeish says, Dunkle Gill. Of course he does. Why, why would he not say Dunkle Gill? All right, let's... Empty up bag number one. And the sub bag. Not that it's got a sub in it, it's not, not a sub bag like that, it's just a, another bag that's got smaller bits in it. There we go. Uh, now of course I won't be sorting these out into um, piles of like bits, because that's just wrong. You can't do that when you build Lego. Uh, I shall try and, there you go, that just about fits down the bottom there. So, we have 20 years ago, a long time ago, in a design studio far, far away. We began reimagining the iconic vehicles, characters and scenes from the Star Wars universe as exciting new models and minifigures. To celebrate the 20th anniversary of the LEGO Star Wars franchise, we have selected some of your favourites from the last 20 years and brought them up to date with this new collector's edition. To make it extra special, we've included in each set an exact replica of an original Star Wars minifigure and display stand. So, there we go, 134 pieces. Um, yeah, uh, specially designed new element of the yellow air brake things. Uh, transparent orange blasters, plates and brick bricks. Oh, that was the original one. That That's what it used to look like. Right, I'll get you. This is the original piece, 134 pieces, and it looked like that. This is the one that I've got now, the 20th anniversary edition, which is 279 pieces. Um... Yeah, more screen accurate energy binders. Uh, more challenging build, including more pieces. Has a hover feature, because it's got transparent beams now. 
So, uh, yeah, it's... I don't think it's bigger, but it's got more pieces to it. So instead of having boring engines like this, it's got more screen-accurate pieces. Uh, it says it contains the original 1999 Luke Skywalker minifigure. The greatest hero of the Rebel Alliance. A little bit of history about him. Right, there we go. We get to see what the others are. Uh, we have the hand Solo of a collectible. It comes with uh, it's like a clone dropship, possibly. I can't quite tell from the little picture. We've got a, a type of ATST for Vader. Snow speeder for Lando. That looks like quite a cool one. And Slave 1. That looks like a nice kit. With Princess Leia in it. So, uh, yeah, that looks like an interesting one to do. Um, that's probably the least interesting kit, but it's got a hand in it. So, yeah, and that's quite nice. But, yeah, uh, we'll see. Um, these are all the 2000 edition. Uh, no, 1999, 2003. 2000, 2000. So this is obviously the first one, 1999. Right, it's the Boon Reeve Classic Pod Race from The Phantom Menace. Nice little collection booklet, actually. I'll, I'll be keeping the booklet. Uh, that's got, obviously, still from The Phantom Menace in it. And it tells you how to work. Tip them all out on the table. Done that. Open that. Done that. Haven't done that bit yet. And I haven't done that bit yet either. But we'll get there. And it tells you, obviously, about scanning the apps and showing you how to do it on there. So, bag one contains Luke and an extra bit. I don't know what the extra bit is. Uh, and the start of this. Two's an engine. Three's the other engine. And, obviously, the other figures. There we go. Chris, you need to get all the sets, says Jamie. Jamie. Uh, Yuru uh, is in. Says, no Jar Jar, don't stick your head in there. <laughs> is it a land speeder? Uh, no, it's not a land speeder. The land speeder is the other pack that I've got. But yes, I shall have a look around and see about getting the other packs. All right. Starting the build. We have the original edition Luke Skywalker. Uh, pilot edition. There we go. We've got that. Uh, silvery lightsaber. And handle. Which you can hold. Cool. And then we need to build the base. So we get one of those. Like that. The big plaque, which goes across it. Like that. Uh, another one of those which goes down the bottom. Not tricky so far. The trickiest bit is going to be turning over the correct number of pages. Which I seem to have trouble with doing this. Uh, right, two of those. To build up the platform. He stands on the back. And for some reason we've got one of those just next to it. I, I don't understand that, but there we go. Uh, keep up Lewis, isn't it? Uh, race is good. Uh, see prequels, yeah. Uh, Dad's in, says hello everyone. Hi, hi Dad. Um, what You you said you were going to be streaming later on. Did you have a particular time in mind? Uh, I did ask in the messenger, but you may, may have answered it already, but you hadn't last time I looked. Uh, if you're paying attention, Dad, and watching, uh, have you got a time that you're planning on being online and doing some streaming. You've got to pimp it anyway, because you know there's 18 people watching this that might come along and watch her. So uh, tell us tell us what time you're planning on going live. I'm going to be playing some Alex, if I can get the computer to work properly, and I'll, I'll work it in around you. So if you were going later, I might go earlier, or if you're earlier, I might go later this evening. So let, let me know what time you're planning on streaming. Uh, Lewis says... Hi Mike, I don't know what he's making. I think it's a Star Trek thing. It's it's similar. That that do as long as you're happy. That's that's yeah. You're going the right way and get banned again, Lewis, isn't it? <laughs> you're not a mod net, thank God. I oh I could click a no. <laughs> Paying attention? I always pay attention. Uh Fox is here saying we I don't know why he's saying pui. You know what I'm building, look, you know the film. You like this one of your favourite films, isn't it? Uh yes, yeah, so, so for some reason there's an extra piece. So I'll put that aside with him. But that's that's quite nice. That's apparently the original 1999 figure on a nice little plaque stand. So that, I quite like that. That's good. Right now we're building. I think the the back bit and the stand, and then we'll do the rest in other bags. So we need the first part 
is one of them. And the next part is one of them. And they go together like that. This Lego stuff's easy. Chris, are you making a start wares? Says Fox. Yes, indeed. You know start wares. Uh, right, one of those is the next, which goes along there. Then two of the red threes, which go in the bottom and hold it all together. Uh, Dad was thinking about five-ish. Got a couple of distancing visitors today because of tomorrow. Yes, because it's Dad's, birth it's Dad's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday for tomorrow, Dad. But yes, uh, if you're not going on till five, then I would expect sometime between now and then I'll try, I'll try some Alex in the afternoon. Then I'll get the evening off. I can play computer games on my own and stuff. <laughs> Uh, one of those on the top there. There's no Jar Jars in the set, but there are stickers, says Jamie. There are indeed. Look, look I've got stickers to put on. But yeah, there's no no Jar, War, Jar Wars. Um, there are. I don't know, shall I flick back in the instructions because so, you're late coming in. Uh, it's a, it's this is the one I'm doing. It's a rebake of that one from 1999, which is quite nice. Uh, there are five in the series. Uh, remaking um, each with a different original character and different kit to build so yes it's looking likely that at some point I will end up having all of them so yeah right let's see we'll continue the build we need one of those I'm going to say those quite a lot during this stream because it's just the easy way of describing a piece um, I need the other one of those, the other side of it. There it is. One of them and one of them. Or, should I say, one of them. And one of them. Uh, I go across the front. Got that. That. And that. There we go. I like Lego stickers, oddly, says Fox. Yeah, it wouldn't be right doing... Um, uh, you know, decals or... I don't know, make dry, dry rub transfers. They could, that could be fun. Can I say thems instead? Only if there's more than one. If it's one of them, then it can't be thems. But if it's two of thems, then that works, yes. It's only one of them and two of thems. One. Two. And not that, not that, but one of those. That one there. There we go. Uh, so we're alternating the colours at the front. Like that. Uh, nothing happening. Just a happy birthday for tomorrow from that to dad. Yeah. Right. Two, two of them's and two of them's. Uh, looks like one and two and one and two. Right. So where do they go? They go at the back. That one there. That one there. That one there. And that one there. Yay! Right, another page. So that's page 19. So to just turn over one page, we get 20. That works. Put that there, and there we go. You get all of the page on the screen at once. Very slightly out of focus, because the focus is just up a bit, because that's where you're going to be looking. So, you know. That's that. One of those. That one goes over the back. Easy so far. No trouble at all. One of those also goes over the back. Two of them. And one of them. Ah, uh, right. They work our way along the sides. So that one, that one. And that one across. Cool. It all really sort of looks like what you know it's going to look like, doesn't it? it it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, Chris has remembered Connor is singing Baby Shark Thursday, so you've got to keep him up. I'd say good luck for Friday. <laughs> I thought Lewis was going to come in and sing it as well. I thought that was the deal. It's not all on that, is it? I take it you're you're away still on uh, Thursday evening, then, Lewis. Uh, right, I want the bit that looks like that. I thought it was that. There it is, the darker one. 
So that goes there, and that follows on with that. All good so far. One of them, two of thems. One, two. They're different, they've got holes all the way through them. They're, they're a slightly different piece than normal. And that one. So that goes on the back. That one there. I've said it before about Lego. I, I'm in awe of the people that can design these things. I, I, building it, obviously, easy. Step by step, you just follow along and do what you're doing. But, yeah. Uh, Lewis will see it, but it'll be away. He says, I'm working. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 13. Number 14. Right, there we go. One, that one. And that one. And you've got to build it first, because it'd be too tricky to build it when it's in place. So you've got to build it first, and then put it on the back. Like that. So far, so good. Sticker time. I need one of those. And I've got to put three stickers on it. Three stickers on a single piece. Uh, number two goes on the front. So let's have a look. Number two is that one there. It goes with the blue bit down the bottom. I'm strongly tempted to put this delivery slightly on an angle just because it would annoy the hell out of Fox. But equally, I'd quite like this to look quite good. So I'm going to put it on fairly straight but slightly slightly at an angle, obviously, and slightly off to one side. So there we go. Uh, Lewis is going off for a drive. Drive safe. Um, brake's nearly over. I'll get the better half to do the typey-typey for me. Yes, so you, you stay on the phone and keep, keep in touch, but, yeah, don't do the typing yourself. Number six goes on there. Don't go all norm on me, you not monster. So we get that stuck on there just like that. There, that, that'll do. That's close enough. That'll do. Yeah, no. It won't do. Probably about there. That looks okay. That's close enough. And number eight goes on the other side. There we go. Just about there. Looking good. I think Fox might be broken again, but we won't worry about that. There we go. That's the back of the pod racer all sorted. Cool. Looks all right. Uh, that was 15, so obviously next is 20. It's not. That's two pages. Stuck together, but somehow. There we go. I'm all for, you know, cost cutting, making the pages nice and thin and, you know, everything. But there comes a time when it's just too thin and I can't turn the pages over properly. I think all this washing of my hands has made my fingers not work properly. Two of those, and two of those. Let's see where they go. Oh, they, that's quite easy. They go in the front there, like that, and like that, and next to that on there. Yay! Right, next up, the big bit. Sticker time. Big sticker on the front, number seven. The right way round. <coughs> uh, about there, I should think. Acceptable? What do you think? Is that, that alright, Fox? You okay? If I keep turning it, you won't be able to tell if it's not straight, will you? There we go. So far, so nice. Good. Happy with this. Coming along. Got less pieces now as well. So, got one of those and two of thems. The fire extinguisher controllers. That's why they've got the holes in them. See? There we go. So they go in there. And the windscreen, obviously, goes on the front. Uh, the picture in step 17 makes it look like a teeny space wolf storm frame. Is it what? The whole thing? Or just that? Or. I don't know what bit you're talking on. Spot on, that is, says Fox. Thank you very much. I've been practicing my stickering for years. Uh, right, one and one. 
one M1. More stickers. Look, there's a lot of sticker action on this. Uh, on one of those, on that, I've got to put number three. So, let's try that about there. About there. That's a little bit twiddly, but that's okay. That's close enough. You can't tell because it's the grey on the grey, so that's okay. Uh, right, that goes on the side. Which way round? That way round. Like that. And that one also needs a sticker. Uh, number five. Which we've got to make sure I also get the correct way up. So it's that way round. Like that. Yay. And that goes on there like that. Nat says, to, uh, Lewis says, I just want to point out to everyone that I did a nicey nicey by calling her the better half, and I managed 20 minutes without getting banned. You did indeed. Congratulations. <laughs> Surviving one short time in a stream without getting banned isn't something people would normally have to, uh, you know, uh, point out as being worth brownie points. Right, uh, we're doing the same again on the other side. So we need one of those. And one of those. Uh, that one, we're getting sticker number two. One. It's part number two. Step two, sticker one. And this one doesn't matter which way up it goes because you can just put it in the other way up. Okay. This one does matter which way around it goes. Number four. The red bit's got to be on that side. Because I'm sure somebody would uh, complain and rivet count my stickers. So that looks just like that. That'll do. Yep. So that one goes on this side. Like that. With that one next to it. That way round. Nice. We're getting there. It's getting there. Uh, Shane's around. Afternoon, Chris and everyone. Had to help Mrs. Y get sorted and hoist her into the electric wheelchair as she wanted to go and collect tablets. I read that's tables. I thought she had to go and collect some tables. I thought she shouldn't be collecting tables, but it's not tables. It's tablets. Uh, yes, um, so obviously she should stay safe while she's outside, but I'm necessary going out for things like that, obviously. Uh, right, so we've got one of them, two of them, uh, one of them, and one of them. That's all the parts required. So we've got that with those going on there. Then that goes over the top of it. And that goes underneath. And then the whole thing uh, goes on the front bit like that. And we have sort of wing type action going on. I'm expecting exactly the same thing again going on the other side. You see how close I am to that. Oh look, it's exactly the same thing again going on the other side. So one of those. One, two. Uh, the big funny shaped bit that's over the back. And one of those. Build that together again. I'm going to do it in a different order just to mix things up. I'm going to put that on there and then. Look. Breaking the rules, going the wrong order. Putting it on the other side, like nobody cares. There we go. That's that. And then you've got to fold them up. That's quite cool. I like making unusual shapes from it with different things. Yeah. Uh, Lewis, it's a life goal to not get banned. Well, you um, you know, on half of the last two shows, you've made it. Admittedly, you weren't here for very long on any of them. But, you know, on this one. So the one you got banned, you're in longer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so turning it over that way round, we've got to put four of these in, or they obviously go onto the gaps. I uh, don't know how bendy up they go, they just sort of about there like that. Uh, so we need three of those which go across there. Three, cool, so far so good. Then we're building with the clear bits that you probably can't see properly. There we go. Alright, uh, so we need one of those to start off with. 
Done, mate. That's that bit. That's easy. <sighs> one of those. And one of those. And we're putting them into that bit. So that missing a gap, putting in that one. Okay. Are you going to have to make a minifig annoying child actor? Trademark, says Fox. Uh, yes, he is part of one of the things. Um, I can't remember... I know the character's name. I can't remember the actor's name. No, nope, it's completely gone. But uh, yes, he is part of the build. Uh, putting this in the other end, three of those. Getting it the right way around. Missing a gap and going in that one. Then we're getting one more of those and that just goes in there. All the way in. All the way across. Then we get one of those, and that's going to hold it all together. Well, you can throw those parts away. No, it's, he's going to ride. The, he's, he's driving the thing. He's all right, little Annie. Nothing wrong with little Annie. He's okay. Right, thirty, thirty-one. Next up, we are attaching to the base. Get that the right way round. That's that way round, and that goes on there. Like that. So you you can't see this bit at all, hardly at all, can you? If that was flying around, you wouldn't even notice those. Probably. You might, but yeah. Okay, now we're building that, the little standy bit. So we need one of those and one of those. And funnily enough, they're going together. I like the one-to-one -one scale thing, so you can check that it's the right size. Although we've only got two of them, and they're both exactly the same. So that goes on there. That goes on next. 33, 34 is next. Then we need one more of those and one more of those. Guess we're doing exactly the same thing again. Uh, Radiant Basis says, Chris, how do you make the pod hover? It's amazing, isn't it? It's like magic. That was that. Uh, right, now I need one of those. Oh, that's a little grey one. There you go. Three of them. One two three and one of those right so we're getting it that way round that's going into that hole uh, that's going into the third one down the second one down and the top one okay made that then we're installing that to that just by doing that, nice and easy. Push. That looks like that. So far, so good. Mind hair. Uh, Basie says, hello, you lovely lot. I've been on the phone with my boss. Sorry. <laughs> Don't apologise. Um, work always takes precedence over messing around with us. Uh, right, one of those, two of those, and the last two of those that I've got. Right, so we're getting that, we're putting that in there. Now, which way round? I think it doesn't really matter which way round. So we go from that way. And they go on either end. Okay. So that's that bit. Nice. And that goes onto the top like that. Right. And then we get to use the whole invisible flying thing and all of that which way around that way round goes through there and clips into that right uh, 37 so next up is 38 where we need one of those and one of those Let's figure out how they get used uh, that goes on first obviously clips into everything Like that, and then that goes on the end there because we've got one on the other side, and then two of those sit on the end like that. Okay, and that is the end of bag number one. So that should be able to stand up, sort of. Um, obviously, when it's got the weight the other side, that will be a, enough of a platform. And you can obviously somehow twiddle it or something 
to enable you to fly around with it. Yay! There we go. Pod racer complete, and I've only got you know, an extra, whole extra lightsaber. Um, there's one of those, one of those, and one of those. So four pieces left over. That's the way to do it. Lego know how to do it. Lego know how to do it. It's not these nano blocks where they give you build that, and we've got 76 spare parts for you as well. That's not cost effective, is it? Right. So I put those over to the side with the little uh, Luke and the one bit that I don't know what it does yet, and the two tubes that we haven't used yet. That shall go into the background as well. Those were norm noises. I, I don't know what you mean. Uh, sounds like you'll be back working soon, says, Ray, says Dad to Raging. Yep. Uh, need to remember the phrase mind here now. Raging Basis says to Dad, I think I've heard it will still be a month away. Uh, the boss was just calling to see how we were doing. That's Yeah, you got to keep in touch, haven't you? I uh, think Chris needs a big Wii. He's building very fast. This is just normal building speed. This isn't anything... I mean, it's only been, you know, half hour. And one bag. So there's three bags, so that's an hour and a half. That's my standard building speed. There you go. Um, tubes, says that. Tubes. 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 Extra bits and tubes. We'll put the tubes to one side. Don't need them yet. Uh, right, I shall find... Bag number two. Check out number two, please. ASMR noises. And I'll open the bag. Has this got a mysterious extra, extra bag inside it? It has, look. Bag of stuff. An extra bag of stuff. Yay. Uh, so these are the sword things. They're, they're interesting. I don't know. They must be for the... I don't know. I don't know. I th no. Okay. Um, you've got the three sides to the thing and cogs and engine parts. And inside tiny piece bag, we have tiny pieces. There we go. That's that's the new unique piece, the electro bindery things or whatever they're called. Uh, it's not ASMR when you're right against the mic at a million decibels, says Fox. <laughs> right. So what do we think? Oh, what? Um, what bits am I going to be left over with at the end of this bag I thought there'd be two of them but obviously they might give you a spare one in the other bag maybe I don't know I, I would think probably one of them um, don't know the other bigger unique parts you've only got ones of them so I don't know, possibly one of them as well, maybe. And and one of those. There you go, that, that's my prediction for bits that I won't be using in this build. You can't see them, they're just off shot. Those, those three bits there. Those are the three bits that I predict will be left over at the end of this bag. Uh, Fox says that they look like those big wavy swords the Cabal have in Destiny. Yeah, they sort of do. The big, yeah, the sword guys that are the nastiest ones to kill for some reason. Don't know why. Right, bag number two. Um, operation number 40. Uh, is that... There we go. Oh, I got it the wrong way up. Otherwise it would have been fine. There you go. That's that done. Sorted. I can finish now. That's, that's, that's it. There we go. Two of those. That's not it. I thought that was one of them. But it's not. It's one of them. And one of them. All right, they go back to back on there. Just like that. Just, just like that. Uh, not that. 
that one goes on the top in the middle cool the brown squared spiky thing goes through that and then goes onto the other end like that cool holds that all together quite nice uh, Candigram from Mongo is here. Greetings, everyone. Greetings, Candigram. Welcome. Um, I'm building a pod racer from one of Fox's favourite films. Fox has just got to go. He's going to make a sandwich. What's it? What? What? What's in the sandwich, Fox? What are you going to tell us when you come back? You can't just say I'm going to make a sandwich and not tell us what's in it, because that's not the rules, is it? That's that's the whole. Breaking the whole live stream law. Uh, right, on the other side of that. That one goes on the top. That one goes on the bottom, facing that way. Two of those next, uh, going off the back. Uh, if you haven't seen stuff already in the, um, the gross group, I'll put the link in the chat. Um, my wife, Gemma, has... Uh, won some sort of competition thing and got a free sort of nano blocks but a different manufacturer uh, Titanic model which uh, her and my daughter are downstairs building even as we speak uh, so there's a couple of pictures in the group of the uh, the pre-build shall we say uh, and I'm sure once she's finished it in, in probably before I finish this the uh, completed thing will appear, but it's quite a quite a substantial kit. So that goes on there. It's some sort of um, well, it's the engine, but don't like that. Next up is forty nine. Two of those. Uh, not those. Not those. It's those. Get the right bits. It's much e if you get the right bits. It's much easier. Uh, Candy Graham's asking, telling Fox, you know the rules. We require sandwich construction details. Yeah, well, I, I figured we'd give him time to make it first. Because he might not know what he's making. This is Fox we're talking about. So there is a good chance that he's just gone down to his kitchen, opened his fridge, and will find something to put into a sandwich. He probably doesn't go down with the intention of anything to build. Uh, Lewis says, through Nat, uh, this sounds so wrong when you can't see what's happening, i.e. this long spiky thing goes through here like that. Yeah, well, the long tube went through the hole. Well, not a tube, it's a, a square-sided post. goes through the hole and, and sticks out the other end, and then there's an even longer tube that goes through a different hole. And that's come out the other end. Nothing wrong with that, I don't know what you're talking about. Three of those I need, three of the two by one with a single stud on top. You've always got to have the studs on top. That's the way it works. One, two, and three. Right, next up on the build list, one of those. That's easy. Uh, and then one of those. That's even easier. Nice. Then we get to the big mechanics of the situation. We need the big orange thing and the grey cog orange thing goes on first and then the cog follows on thereafter like that fair enough it almost looks like an engine that would actually work if you turn it on turn it on then the engine will start spinning okay one of those which got to get the orientation right because it's not going to turn sticks off over that side because it looks like that uh, then one of those and then another one of those going the same way okay so far so good now we're building a separate piece so put that to one side we need five of the golds one two three four five of the golds now notice there's no more golds in there except for the one that i put aside up the top so I, i'm probably right with that bit that that's probably a spare piece Let's see if I'm right about those two as well. Uh, we've got the big bit. Five of those. One, two, oh, two, three. Trying to escape. Three, four, five of those. 
they're all going to run away. I'm, I'm going to have to, I don't know, somehow block them in with the other pieces. There we go, that'll do it. Uh, five of these and five of those as well. So one, one, two, three, four. Oh, look, the last one of those from there, except for the one that I said was going to be spare. So that's probably that one as well. I'm, I'm not saying that I'm great with these things, but so far I seem to be winning. Three, four... Uh, oh, there's another one over there. Five of them. Right, let's get that together then. So that goes on there. Then we get those go together like that and then go into those like that. So let's get those done. Is that just four? No, it's five of those. Two, three, four, five. Leaving one empty. Okay. Maybe how it attaches. Uh, Andy says, impression of Chris, I need one of those, one of these, and big heavy object incoming. Ah, hope, no, no, not one of those. It's possible, I'm not going to say it doesn't happen. There we go, that's five of those put around there. The silvery things go on the top. Four. They do do, don't they, Dad? Says Andy. Red lens are here. Hi, Dad. I can't even say hello to everyone. Oh, he, he says above that. I missed one. Sorry. Uh, says afternoon all. Uh, bench fitted boat drone. Belly cheesy beans on toast. When you say cheesy beans on toast, is that beans on toast with some cheese over the top of it? Uh, Phil Bolton here. Good morning, afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, I've got to turn the page over now, but it see it. It shows them on top there. I'm going to sneak ahead, put them on there, and then see if that's what the next instruction is to do that. I'm fairly certain that it will be. Oh, look. That's the next instruction. Let's put those on the top there. <laughs> and then that goes in there. Right. How? Oh, because that's got to fill one side of it. There we go. That works like that. I like that. doesn't actually attach, though. But probably the next bit's going to attach it. We'll we'll find out. Two of those. Uh, one of those. And one of those. Good, because I've only got one of those. That goes on the top. They go together and then underneath. And that goes onto there. And that will stop all of that from falling off as well. Have I missed anything good, says Phil? Um, yeah, I built the, the, uh, the original 1999 Luke Skywalker figure. Uh, which for some reason comes with that bit that is in the instructions, just standing next to the stand. And I've built the entire pod racer body, uh, just coming in at the end of the first engine. Uh, and then I'll be doing another engine and putting it together, and that'll be the end. So, yeah. Uh, right. Looks like tricky step coming up. We need one of those and three of them. They will go onto the ends. Uh, with the bit sitting down, not across, but down. Like that. And that goes on there. And it gives you an end one-to-one -one view. Well, it's, it's obviously, it's just got to be sticking upwards. Not not sideways. So, like that. Does that look like that? It does sort of look like that. Yeah, there we go. If you can line it up just right on the camera, it looks just like that. Okay. Uh, next up. That and that, which obviously go on there, getting it the right way round, so the thick of it is on the front, and that on there, no problem so far. Stickers, I bet Fox knew there were stickers coming along. I'll have to catch the replay later, says Phil, yes indeed. The replay will be there for your viewing enjoyment. Uh, right, so we've got stickers, we've got not many stickers left, we've got two sets of three. The only tricks with these is going to be getting them the right way round. So the little blob on its own is at the pointy end. So we get that down next to there on that one. Then the second one. On there. 
and the third one. And then obviously the other three will be in the next bag. There we go. Oh, cool. Neat, looking tidy. Uh, Fox is back. He says, sandwich was denied. Someone, Mama Fox, used the last of the bread without getting a new loaf out of the freezer. So he's got no bread. You could have a frozen sandwich. That'd be quite pleasant for you, wouldn't it? You can always, um, yeah, okay. Right. The three. Clip onto there. And fold inwards. Just like that. Or rather, just like that, because that's the way the picture is. So yeah, that goes on there. Cool. Last few bits. Uh, one of those. One of those, one of those, and two of those. Let's get all the other pieces together, and not, not the three that I've said are going to be spit. I'd, I'd be very shocked if I'm correct about those three pieces. But I seem to be correct about two of them, which is two more than I thought I was going to get. So they all go together like that. Uh, Angus, oh, thank you very much, Angus. Uh, super chat in there. Have a brandy on me. I, I will indeed. Not not while I'm building, because that would be bad for you. But uh, thank you very much, Angus. Much appreciated. Uh, that one goes up there, and that's that way around. There it is. It's just appeared on the top of the screen there. There. Thank you. This lockdown seems to be affecting people in, in strange ways. People have become incredibly generous, and it, it's, uh, yeah, speechless, wordless type things. But, uh, yes, thank you very much. Uh, let's build that. That goes on there. And that uh, art connects onto the bottom there. That's right, that goes on there. That's right, I like that. That's different. It's all upside down, but it's it's fine. Um, Fox had to settle for a pot pasta with a tin of tuna dumped on it, which will suffice. It, that's horrible. Apart from the tuna and and the pot noodle, uh, yeah, just no, don't don't do that. Just yeah, defrost it in the toaster or microwave. Says Phil. Yeah, I'd rather wait an hour and then then have a sandwich rather than messing around and making it horrible. Um, right, I need the two swordy things. Uh, they get gripped in there uh, with the pointy bits pointing towards that. Okay. Uh, then we've got it which way up? Still, still that way up. We've got those two going to there. Uh, Dad's not giving me a referral payment of £1.99. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Um... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I won't do that then. Uh, and um, then, oh, there is other bits. Look, there's that. And oh, the one the other side. I did. I put both of them on without following the instructions. I only said do one. I did two. Then there's that bit, which goes on to the last remaining little hooky thing, there. And that is the end of the bag, apart from attaching this to there. Oh, there you go. That's how that attaches. Right, okay. So that goes on there. Um, I was right in that these three pieces are left over, but I was wrong in that there's a fourth to add to them. So I, I'm incredibly chuffed that I got that close. But uh, And there we have an engine with half a electric bindery thing added that goes through there. And that was the bit that I already did. There's going to be a tube that connects that, but we'll worry about that later. Um, thank you, Dad. I'd say not a referral payment. I, I shall not take it as a referral payment at all. Uh, Andy has two bagels, uh, one with bacon and the other with links on. I don't understand that. There we go. Uh, Fox says that's too close to cooking using a toaster. Uh, Phil said, I made my living cooking for 35 years, so I can understand. These days, I try and cook as little as possible. 
Uh, sorry I missed your wooden wheelie th thing stream, says Angus. I had two enormous beef burritos for dinner and collapsed into a food coma. Um, not a problem. I mean, it's still there. They're, they're all available to rewatch at a later date. Um, and there's another one on Wednesday as well, so, you know. <laughs> right. That's that. So that's attached. No surprise to anyone that's been paying close attention. The next up is opening bag number three. Let's move that back there a bit. I'll do it more quietly, shall I? Is that more ASMR for you? Slower and further away. Just how you like it, Fox. Slower and further away. Uh, Lewis says, is it nearly done? Uh, this is the final bag, so yes. Um, we have two figures to make out of this. First one is one of Fox's favourite characters. Uh, Candygram is having coffee because 7am is approaching. Uh, yeah, it, it's approaching, but it's, you know, it, it's quite a long way away. Um, the previous 7am is much closer than the one that's coming in the future. Or well, at least for us. Well, me and several other people that are watching. <sighs> right, let's see. We're building figures. It only tells you how to build one figure. That's a little bit harsh. I think if you can't figure it out from that, then don't bother, is what they're saying. Um... Phil says, uh, I think once the stream's over, a scrambled egg and cheese sandwich sounds good. I, I had a Russell's burger before I started the stream, knowing that I was going to be starting at lunchtime. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay until tea time. Uh, Fox can confirm that Bachelor's pasta and cheese, pasta and sauce, cheese and broccoli flavour, combined with a can of tuna and a dash of dark soy sauce, is actually mildly pleasant. I would disagree with that, because of all of the ingredients. Uh, right, we've obviously got two heads. We've got a girly head, which will obviously go with the girly. Uh, she's got angry face or, or happy face. So you will go with happy face and cover up angry face with long hair. Uh, legs. We've got two pairs of legs. She has the dark legs. She has a blaster pistol. There it is. So that's her completed. Uh, we have... Child actor, uh, happy face or slightly confused face. We'll go with slightly confused face. Um, he has a helmet with some goggles on. The other way up, though, because otherwise, you know, the nose piece is in the wrong place. There we go. Uh, he, he also has legs. And apparently, he's a, a moderator, because he's got a spanner. So there we go. That's the two figures completed. So they go with... The third figure, the original Luke. I'll put them over the back. Right, and then we're starting probably a repeat of the last, um, you know, 20 minutes of building this. So this, this will go even quicker because I've already done it before. So there shouldn't be any confusion, any difficulties, any anything. We're doing this apart from finding the right bits so that one goes on there that one with the brown bit goes through there and goes on the back there right two of those they go on the top Blip. Uh, two of those they go on the sides did they have two of those on the sides? I don't remember. Must have, because, you know. Uh, Dad prefers bacon and cheese with pickled toasties. He says, yes, yes, yes. Now I'm hungry. Angry, he says. I'm hungry. Uh, right. This is slightly different, I think. It's a little bit different. So I'm going to have to pay attention. Done that. So I need one of those. It looks like that. And two of those. I don't remember any of them before. There was a, a double thing before, wasn't it? I'm sure. Uh, what else do I need? Another one of those. Looks like that. 
And so that goes on there facing backwards, that one goes on there facing backwards, and that one goes at the bottom like that. And that was instruction 74, so next up is 75, for which I need two of those, that one and that one. Okay, that's going to go through there, we know that already. It's not that, because I picked up the wrong bit, it's one of those, normal boring one, not, not a fancy one. Top and bottom of that, and then that goes onto there as well. So far so good. Not as good as a KFC though, is it? This is Russian basis. <laughs> no, shut up, says Fox. I'm not going to say anything because I think my wife is watching this downstairs. And for some reason I've got a phone call from a number that I don't know, so I'll ignore that. Uh, right. That goes on there. And that one goes on the top there. Okay, two of those. Not that. That one. And two of those. We did this last time. I remember this bit. Getting in the right way around. So that one goes on that bit. That goes on there. That one on there. And that one on there. Ixnay on the KFCA, says Angus. <laughs> Dad checks deliver room and just eat. Now you've made Dad cry. See what he did? He wants to. Yeah. I would expect when the uh, the cho chocolate velociraptor buggers off and everything goes back to semi normal, because it's not just going to you know go back to normal like that, is it? It's it's going to take a long time, you know, at least sort of the rest of the year until things sort of settle down. Um, but as soon as the fast food place is open, idiots are going to be rushing straight to them in their masses. And there's a good chance that everything will just flare up again. So, yeah, just just leave it a, a couple more weeks. They'll open, some people will go, and then, you know, it will quieten down again, and then everyone else can go. And it will be fine. Didn't say a word, says Rachel Basis. Someone get dad a tissue. <laughs> right, let's build one of these again. Uh, so it's going to be five of them. So I've got to do that. One. With that on the top. And that on the top of that. And do that again. For the second one. All built and assembled. Pop. Third one. That on there. That on the top. Are you having a wibble about KFC, says Jamie. Possibly a little wibble, yeah. My, my wife might have wibbled about KFC yesterday. It's all, all side Reynolds' fault. It's Kevin's fault. Because he mentioned it and actually showed pictures of it. Which didn't please lots of people. So yeah, we, we can all blame Kevin for it. It's all size fault. Right, there we go. That's that one built. I haven't even turned the page yet. Oh, I didn't have to turn the page yet because it's finishing just there. Then that goes onto there. Like that. Then we've got the pointy bit to build on the front. So that with two of those. One, two, and silvery blob on the front. And that goes on the front of that. Nice, easy. Getting there, getting there. Then we've got to build the triangular thing. One, two, the only deliveries going are the co-ops, is dead. They don't do KFC, it's not the same. What about McDonald's or Burger King? They're all closed. Yeah, they're all closed around here as well. Uh, Chris Countling's in, saying hi, Chris and everyone. Hi, hi, Chris. Um, you missed some of the Lego, but you know it's still happening, so it's okay. Um, now that's not the right way round, as you can see. That's why it gives you the picture to say, don't do it like that. You've got to get it with the single one at the top, like that. One of them, and one of them. That correct way round. 
like that. Now some stickerage. The three of these with the final three stickers on them. Nice and easy. What are you building, says Chris? Can you not guess? You can probably guess from this bit. It's a bit of a giveaway. If I, if I start doing things like that, does that not give you an idea? Look. It's, it's, yeah, you know what that is. I know you know what that is. Uh, Dad says, my wife worked on the secret KFC uh, mix many years ago. Used to bring bags of it home. And you, see, you should have hoarded them. If you'd have kept one, you could have sold that for millions on the internet now, today. Did you write it down, says Fox? <laughs> <laughs> we're missing McDonald's too. We're having burger buns. Yeah, we we had burgers the other day. You know, sort of home, well, not homemade burgers, but yeah, it's not the same. But it 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 hits the spot. I do like burgers. Burgers are probably my favourite food group. Don't try and tell me that burgers aren't a food group because everyone knows they are. Ah, uh, so on top of that, we've got. That, that, and those two on the sides, same as the other one. And that goes on there, facing backwards, like that. Uh, I hate to say this, but honestly, KFC just tastes like chicken. I get no traces of the herbs and spices, still nice though. It, it's dif different to plain chicken. Um, I'm not sure about the, you know, secret recipe thing. Although the, the Zinger burgers are, are very pleasant. Not sure about the rest of it being all top secret and stuff though, because it's just pretty normal. Uh, Red Lynn has just been furloughed for four weeks. What, four weeks from now, coming up four weeks. Uh, how do you feel about that? Is, that? is that a good thing or a bad thing? You've obviously been working up till now. So, um, yeah, I mean, we, we've all been... You know, not working for the last four, five weeks, four-ish four weeks, or something, about there. So, um, yeah, it, 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 it happens, you get on with it. But, uh, yeah, that goes on there. The lightning thing comes off there like that, that's why, because it's a different way round to the other one. That one goes on that side. Then we get to add it together to the other bit. Move everything out of the way again. Yes, so they link together. So you've got the electric bindery things at different angles. That's why we had to use different parts for that build. That goes on there like that, and it does, it stands up on its own. A bit, unless you push it. There we go. All right, I've still got some bits left over from this one because we haven't you finished it yet. Uh, let me get rid of the. Yeah, stickers are empty, so let's get rid of them. Right, the bits we've got left over are all of these and the tubes. Tube. So we need two tubes. Uh, four of those. So we've got five of those. So there's one of those spare two of those, so we've got one of those spare, he's got a pair of glasses spare, and we've got two of those, so that's that, so there's only those three bits extra this time round, starting with the tube, we do one to one of that, so we need one of those, it's got to go on first, we'll just push it up a ways, and then worry about exactly where it's got to stop when we get them all on. Get that on there, right, that's on there. Oh, it wasn't far off. A little bit more. There we go, that's just about where it said it was going to go. Uh, Fox says, it would be interesting to glue this Lego build together and paint it up after you've thrown away the child minifig, obviously. Um, no, I, I don't, no. I'd rather leave it as traditional Lego. Um, 
Yeah. How did your um, Destiny Lego go? You were going to do something with that? I know you haven't yet, because, you know... Um, weren't you going to take all the nubs off or something? Have you even looked at it again? Because it's still going to have nubs on it, this. This is still going to have nubs on it, so it wouldn't be quite right... doing anything with it and painting it. There we go. That's that. With that on the end of there as well. And then they get connected. Right, let's have a look how they get connected. Move those over to there. It hooks onto there. Apparently. Yep, it does. Uh, then it obviously just gets held in those by the looks of it. There we go. That's alright, that works. certain amount of bend to it and the same the other side hooked into the two little claws that's that turning the page over it just shows it completed with him obviously piloting it because he has to because he's, he's a pilot so I expect she can, she can hold his spanner for him as well because he doesn't need that while he's flying it He's only got little legs, look. Stand him up in there. There we go. Uh, yes, the Arcadia jump ship, but removing the nubs will be a pain in the arse, he says. Uh, this little racer looks fairly nub-free. Um, yeah, there's, there's a couple at the back. Um, obviously across all of these and those bits and a couple there, but yeah, no, I'm not going to be playing around with it like that. Uh, right, that's that. And it doesn't say, right, uh, okay, I think, I think I have decided. Originally, we built this and it had that extra with it. And I was thinking, why are they bothered doing that? But now I'm thinking... There's a series of five of those. So that's obviously designed so you can do that. And then the next one will attach to it to make a, a long stand of, of multiples. So that, that sounds like a plan with that. So what I should do is put that on there gently so I can still get that off very easily. And use that to attach it along all of those. We have her, which goes with it. And it, which is completed now that's it done um it sort of mostly fits okay. go up a little bit further um yeah there we there we have it so these obviously open for air intake when it needs to i think they did flare in and out on the film and we have the first of the five Sets on for, uh, let's say, 20 years. Uh, Lego Star Wars, 1999 to 2019. Luke Skywalker. So, yes. Um, an hour and a quarter. That's not, not far. That, that's pretty pretty average for my build streams. So, yeah. Uh, Candygram says it's turned out to be a very nice model. It has indeed. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's, it looks good. Uh, I think I had the original one. Um, let's have a look through, if, in case you missed it. Uh, they do a series of five of these uh, 20th anniversary ones. Obviously, this is this one. Uh, they do four other characters with four other ships, some of which are better than others, but, you know, we, we won't worry about that. Uh, and it gives you a comparison of the two, which is actually really interesting. Um, the, the tan plates and bricks simulated a horror effect on this one because it was like de desert sand colour. Obviously much simplified engines. Uh, it looks like it came with three figures, but one of them is the, the little uh, pit droid thing, interestingly. Um, the engine's obviously different. These are much, apparently, more screen accurate. I can't remember exactly how it was. But uh, the racer itself is similar, but not as nice. It came with a flag. This one doesn't come with a flag. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, that's that. Transparent beams give the illusion of hovering. 
So yes, I'm happy with that. that I shall be keeping the instruction manual. Most of the time with Lego, I don't keep the instruction manual because um, I, I don't take them apart again. I don't need to build it again. But this one has got quite a nice sort of collector's feel to it with, uh, say, some stills from the film. Close-ups of bits that show just how it doesn't quite look right. But it's not bad. I mean, it's got the the stripe is sort of reflected in the in the part colours. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with that build. Uh, I've done the slave one. Was a good model, says Chris. Yeah, that's definitely one that's on my list of things to get. Fox would keep the pilot warm. Well, I, I can't say having the open cockpit right behind the enormous jet exhaust is a solid design decision. But that's why he's got goggles on. Because, yeah. Um, right, there we go, there we have it, that's that, extra pieces, notwithstanding, um, thank you very much for coming along and building, um, thank you for the, the super chats, they're much appreciated as well, um, it's now quarter past one, uh, Dad says he's going to be streaming at about, was it five, I think he said five, wasn't it, sort of, sort of tea time, um, uh, I would expect he'll probably be, be on for a, an hour or so, as he normally is. Uh, I shall recover and sort things out and hope to stream some uh, Alex on Team Inept in about three quarters of an hour, about two o'clock. That was my plan. Whether it works, we'll see. I've, I've rebooted everything and got everything sorted. So hopefully I shall see you over on the Team Inept channel. Uh, like and subscribe. In a little while, I shall be doing some streaming on that. Uh, if you don't make it, then I'll see you... What day is it today? Yeah. Tomorrow, um, Saturday, Fox is doing his uh, Skyrim at 3 o'clock. I might play a little bit of uh, the other game I'm playing, the, the Last of Us, before that. But we'll see how, how time goes and how things go and if I've got stuff to do at home. Um, other than that, Sunday, uh, I shall be here in the evening uh, doing the Warhamster. Uh, Fox will be around before that doing his Warhammer. And Colin and Dave will almost certainly be around before that doing the talking about stuff and having lunch. <laughs> so thank you all. Uh, see you all soon. Stay safe, wash your hands and things. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.